Independent hip hop artists, what is going on? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to become your own music producer in just three months without needing music theory, expensive equipment, and without taking years to learn. So if you're an independent hip hop artist, today I'm gonna to show you how to produce hip hop, even if you're a complete beginner. So what we're gonna cover, all the tools you need to become your own music producer, it's not as much as you think, how to make beats without knowing music theory, and mixing and mastering without needing expensive equipment. And the goal is in three months, you'll have at least one song fully produced, mixed and mastered by you that you're excited to release, You'll also have all the skills and tools you need to never need to buy beats, pay for mix and mastering, or rely on a producer again. So I do want to dive in, but I want to first just kind of explain who I am. I mean, you probably don't really care that much about who I am. You probably care more about what I can do for you. So I'm going to show you a few results I've gotten and other people have helped so you know I can actually help you. This is not going to be about me. This is mostly about helping you. It's really quick, my story. I've been doing music for about 13 years. First couple of years, I was just a rapper, maybe like where you're at. Didn't make beats, didn't mix, didn't master. Now, I was stuck trying to figure out how to at least consistently make and release high quality music. I had to rely on other people. So I really couldn't even think about growing a fan base because I couldn't even get this part down. Um, but then in 2017, shit changed and I was like, nah, man, I need to do this all myself. And it was the best decision I ever made. So now that I have higher leverage skills, um, I've been able to have self-sufficiency. So I've last couple of years, I've dropped 50 plus songs that are all fully produced by me, one of my music videos has over 100,000 views from a song I fully produced. Um, another one of my songs got over 20,000 streams on Spotify from a song I fully produced, so pretty cool. I've been able to focus on marketing and I actually attract fans that are interested in hearing my music and a percentage of those fans buy CDs, which is crazy, I'll show you in a sec. And now I teach independent hip hop artists how to become their own music producers through my Rapid Fire Music Academy. So really gonna quick, um, super quick show you like with those CD customers, like these are folks who actually came in through cold ads and bought CDs. This CD is awesome. Keep it up. You are doing an awesome job. Pretty sick, right? These are folks who actually came in through ads, were attracted to my music, hit me up to ask to hear a song, and eventually became customers. Coming through, always bringing something Come on, this is a kid if you know knowing my mama, all the words to myself. Insane. Coming. Right, so... You know, I know the marketing and CD aspect seems really attractive to you right now, and that's probably what you want to get into. But like, truth is, you got to get the production stuff down first. Um, got a couple of clients I've gotten results for, such as Ange. Um, Ange is, you know, amazing. So is Ryan. I'll, I'll show you those folks in a second. These are folks who are clients of my Rapid Fire Music Academy. Um, but what I want to do is, I kind of want to talk about who this is and is not for. Um, so like if it's not for you right now, like we don't waste our time. You can just like leave this video, but this is who this is for. If you already have a working computer, preferably a Mac, but it doesn't have to be. I have a client who's on a PC, so it doesn't matter. Um, if you already have a DAW, like Logic Pro, FL, Ableton, Pro Tools, Reason, Cubase, something like that. If you have a home recording studio, like even if it's just like a simple cardioid condenser mic like I have that plugs into an audio interface, whatever. If you have a home recording studio, if you have the desire to become fully self-sufficient, like if you don't have that desire and if you're like cool going that route of like working with other people and buying beats, mixing, mastering, like this probably isn't for you. If you have a long-term vision for your music, um, if you don't let fear get in the way of making decisions, like if you're like overthinking everything, like it's not gonna be for you. Um, and if you believe in investing in yourself, and if you're financially ready to do so, all right? Um, the, here's who this is not for, all right? If you don't have a working computer, if you don't have a working computer, this is not gonna be for you because you need to go get that first. Um, if you record vocals on your phone or your AirPods or your plug-in, like, no. Um, if you use BandLab or a free DAW and you can't afford to get a professional DAW, this is not for you. This is not for you. Um, if you don't have a home recording studio, this is not for you. Um, an exception to this would be, I do have a, a, a client who has a computer, FL studio, speakers, headphone, just doesn't have a mic. So if you're like, in that, if that's your case, that's fine. But if you don't have any of these and you don't have a home recording studio, it's not for you. Uh, if you're here just looking for free information, this is absolutely not for you. Like this video is free. All the videos on my YouTube channel are free, but Truth be told, if you want to try to learn how to produce off of YouTube for free, like go ahead and do that. All the info is completely disorganized and none of those people care about you getting results. They just care about um, clickbait, like views and stuff. So if you're just looking for free info, this is not the place to come. And um, 
if you don't have the desire or resources to financially invest in yourself, like if you're unemployed, if you have no money to invest, then you should be looking for a job right now. You shouldn't be like trying to figure out how to produce your own music. So if that's where you're at right now, pause the video and go to go get yourself a job or go figure out your finances. Um, it's not for you. Okay. So next thing I want to do is I just really want to like dive into like the actual meat and potatoes of all of this. So let's go right here first. I want to actually just show you like, there's basically two options with what you can do with your music career. So there's two routes you can go on. You kind of already just probably saw a sneak peek of it, but Route A, which we're going to talk about first, is where 99% of hip-hop artists go, and Route B is where the smart 1% go. So I'm going to just kind of quick show you where what is Route A. So like, this is kind of what Route A looks like. So right, Route A is hiring producers. Um, if you're buying beats, you know, like if you're doing exclusives, like you're probably spending anywhere between like 300 and 500, but I just went with a low conservative number of 250. If you're buying lease beats for like 20, 30 bucks... Come on, bro. Like, that's broke boy shit. You're not going to build a high level professional music career buying $20, $30, $40 beat leases. So, we're not even going to address that. This is buying exclusive custom beats, right? Or custom unlimited rights, whatever they're called. Studio time to record vocals. If you don't have a home recording studio, it's probably 100. I put it in red because, like, maybe you do have a home recording studio, so we can, like, skip that one. But then mixing and mastering is going to be at least 100 each. So, total overall, you're going to spend anywhere between $350 and $550 for, you know, a song. And if you want to be anywhere relevant, you need to, you probably should be dropping at least a song a month, um, which is going to average out to about forty two or four thousand two hundred or sixty six hundred per year. Or if you have a ten song project, that's between thirty five hundred and fifty five hundred a year. So if you want to put out high quality, consistent music, this is the price range that you need to be in that you are probably already in. And at the end of it, you still don't know how to market your music. Um, right, and you, you're going to run the w risk of waiting how long for someone else to finish your music. And you can do one of these two things: you can keep trying, or you can make a change. I don't know if you know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing, expecting a different result. So if this is where you're at right now, right? If this is where you're at, hiring producers, paying hundred dollars per song, thousands a year, or like thousands for a ten-song project before you even start marketing. That's probably why you're not able to put out music consistently and you put it on, you know, limiting beliefs or you probably have like, oh, well, I just want the songs to be right or I'm blah, 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 blah. Whatever it is, all these things keep getting in the way. You know that. Like right now you're in a place where all these things keep getting in the way. And um, truthfully, it's it's honestly, it's, it's, it's really not your fault actually. Like it's not your fault because the way I just noted was how 99% of artists do things. Like, this is what most people do. Like most artists do this. Like they hire producers. Doesn't that seem logical? It makes sense. So it's not your fault. Um, but like to be honest with you, it's not the right way to do it. Like in places like Beat Stars want you to believe that you should just buy beats and look, you can get high quality beats really cheap. But it's like, bro, who the fuck is going to build a professional music career buying a beat for 20 bucks on Beat Stars? Like, come on, bro. Like let's get real here. Um, and so like, here's the other thing I'll, I'll address, kind of put it over here, but like, I'm just going to ask if you think any of these sound familiar, you know, Hey, I found a great producer to work with, but they're always so busy and don't have time to get in the studio. All right. Or the producer I work with is great and has time to meet up to get in the studio, but they're always later. They take hella long to send my mixes back, you know, or my producer is able to have time to meet up to record and also is timely with getting my mixes back, but they never sound the way I want. So they either require a ton of revisions or I have to meet up with them again, um, and mix with them. So when you say my homie produces for me, like that's another thing, warning. Like if you're like, hey, don't even, I'm not tripping, bro. My homie does it. Well, here's a warning. If you experience any of the things above, which like these things here, then you're going to run the risk of like damaging or ending your friendship just because they're your friend and they're willing to work with you for free for the love or to build together. It doesn't mean that it's the best decision for your music career. Um, and it doesn't mean you can't work with your friends. But you shouldn't depend only on them just because they're free. Uh, again, that's limiting mindset. It's broke boy shit. So again, like I'll say this again. It's not your fault. I totally get it. All these things are in the way. Most people say, hey, just obviously you're supposed to just hire a producer. But like the truth is like you don't have to do it that way, right? You don't. And and I'm going to show you a way different route that you're probably going to be pretty, pretty, uh, pretty unbelieved by. So 
again, 99% of artists do this, but why don't I show you what 1% of smart artists do? You know what they do? They become their own music producer. And I'm already going to address some of the limiting beliefs around that here right now. So number one, right? Like you probably think, okay, it's going to take too long. I'd rather spend my time recording and releasing music. Um, fair point, right? And I'm going to actually address each one of these things one by one. Um, number one, number two, like maybe you say, leave the producing for producers, right? Maybe you think you need expensive equipment or you need to know music theory or you need connections in the industry or you think it's going to be too hard. Well, here's the actual truth of it all. Honestly, it can all be done in 90 days. I have clients like Ange who got two songs done from scratch, literally like blank logic session, made the beat, mixed and mastered it and got got two songs done in less than two months. Here, I'll even show you. Yeah, like right here. From finishing a song every three months to finishing one new song every month, right? So Ange, fucking killer. She's sick. Um, also, like, I'll show you that in a sec, but also, like, it can be done super fast. I'll even show you, like, my client Ryan. Um, Ryan, he's a fucking savage. He, um, he literally, like, he's been in this program for, like, what, four or five weeks, I think, like, not even a full month, and he has already made an entire... He's made... He's made three beats. He's already fully written and recorded and has already started mixing one of the songs. It's only been a month. So like you can literally get this stuff done in probably less than 90 days, right? Um, and I'll even actually like literally show you, um, literally show you what he had to say about the program. I can just create all this myself and put it out when I want and do all this stuff that I want to do and, and just really tap into all of that. Like mm -hmm. there's an intrinsic value that's beyond anything. Like it's becomes worth it. Like okay. I've told my, I told my parents that it was like, I was like, dude, this is the best music investment I've ever made legitimately. Wow. Legitimately. Wow. We need to do it. It's literally insane. Like I'll even show you too. Like like pop into the Slack channel, like my boy Carlos, he joined the program, what, we're on the 26th, so he joined like two weeks ago, I think, like maybe even less, honestly, um, and he literally like, again, like no music production background, doesn't know how to play instruments, nothing, like nada, and um, two weeks, he's made three beats, and he's already started writing to one of them, and it's been literally two weeks. Like he made this beat, like it's insane pretty smooth too like i kind of like this i fuck with this beat and from there he's already gotten some like feedback from the from the homies in the group so like yeah this shit like you can get this done pretty quick all right um you literally only need a computer and headphones um you probably also need a home recording setup but like you just need a computer and headphones you don't need a midi keyboard you don't need speakers you don't need any of that so if you already have like i had said earlier right like I said earlier, if you already have a computer and a DAW and a home recording studio, like you're in, like you already have everything you need. Um, you also don't need to know music theory. You can actually get loops, samples, and MIDI chord packs from places like Splice Arcade, Unison, Cthulhu. There's also the um, Unison MIDI Wizard. I, I don't even remember how much that costs, but it's like, I think that's like $47. Like, yeah, like it's insane. Like it's so affordable to like really get all these things that you need to like start making beats super, 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 super quick. Um, um, yeah, it's like not that hard. In fact, I'll even like quick show you something here. So I'm just gonna drag this in here. Watch what happens. Like, you see the like keyboard right here? Like that's literally my like keyboard on my computer. It's not like a MIDI keyboard. Like, bro, like, it's not hard. I'm telling you, it's not hard. Um, when it comes to, like, needing to have connections in the industry, like, you don't need that. I didn't have any, and you don't need them either. Um, and literally when it's like, when you say, oh, it's going to be too hard. Well, like, the truth is, literally anyone can do it, and it's actually super fun. But the other thing about it is, like, if you're afraid of doing hard work, then, like, get get out of here like go 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 watch somebody else's video like if you don't want to work hard and if you don't want to do the work that it takes to become successful in your music then like yeah you're not a good fit i'm not a good fit to help you i can't work with you so yeah i mean those are kind of the two routes you can take right like so those are the two routes you can take you can choose 
one path or the other. Um, and like, it's, it's literally not that hard. Um, it's literally not that hard. So the thing is you might be sitting here thinking like, there's no way, like this is way too good to be true. Like there's no way that this is actually possible that I can produce my own music and not have to work with a producer again. But like, it's not like I literally just showed you three clients I've worked with. I just showed you a demo of me doing it. Like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's honestly, it's honestly completely possible. Like it's, it's, it's really, really, really possible. Um, and it's, it's not that hard. So if you really want to do this and if you're like serious about this, then what I'd recommend you do is just like book a call down below, book a call down below in the description and, um, we can literally get you started. Just make sure you don't book the call unless you're ready to financially invest. Cause like there is an upfront investment to working with me, but it's like a fraction of the cost of this. Um, so if you want to do that, let's get started. Definitely bring your uh, form of payment. Let's fucking do this. But what I want to do now is like literally show you like exactly what's in this program and like what I do. So, um, I'm going to just show you like how it all works, like literally step by step. So Step one is gearing up. So first thing we just, we talk about is called the efficient artist mindset. And, um, you know, I, I'm not like super big on like woo woo mindset shit all the time. Like I'm usually more on like the let's get started, but like just want to get you all completely set up so that you can move fast and never have to look back. So talk about like time management, having high quantity of high quality. That's the big key right here. Really. Right. It's like, are you able to put out a lot of songs and a lot of high quality songs? Cause like you could do a song a week. Like I've, I've heard, I've seen artists do a song a week. Like Russ did that and he's a fucking legend, but a lot of artists, like they're just buying like crappy Lee speeds. They're like recording on their fucking phone and they're like, yeah, bro, I drop music on SoundCloud all the time. But like, I have no, I don't know why I'm not growing. It's like you have a high quantity, but your music sucks, bro. Like what the fuck? Of course it's not good. So high quantity of high quality and then battling resistance. Like, you know, like, there's always going to be things that get in your way of creating. So we have to like battle that every single day, even for me. Hardware, we already talked about it. Computer, home, um, my bad, your current, I misspelled that. Um, your current home recording studio, which is like mic, audio interface, headphones, cables, like that's all you need. And then software, you'll need a DAW like Logic. Um, beat making software, like the ones I showed you, but it's like drag and drop sample library, automated sample generator, and AI chord progression generator. Like once you have all the, and this is all like affordable. Like if you already have a computer and a DAW, like bro, what are you doing? Like you literally like have almost everything you need to get started. Um, so that's phase one, just getting you geared up. Phase two is like actually making the beat. So first thing we start with is um, the melody where it's like literally like drag and drop. Like I had showed you in that product demo, like it's literally drag and drop. Um, you can also have pre-made sound libraries and you can use an AI chord generation tools where it's literally like you can play random notes on your QWERTY keyboard on your computer and like you'll make insanely dope chord progressions. Um, next part, drum and bass. Drums and 808s are easy to come by. You can get them a uh, library from big time producers like Murda Beats, Boy Wanda, 808 Mafia, Sunny Digital. These are the these are like the biggest producers in the game. And you can get drums directly from those guys. They've uploaded it to a sound library where you can literally get get stuff from them. So, you're not going to have a problem with drums and bass. And then arrangement, which is just based like making your song into sections like intro, verse, chorus, hook, outro, blah blah. blah. And then pre-mixing your beat, which is literally a shortcut to like making your beat sound super dope before you start recording. Um, and then the last part of it is super simple. It's mixing and mastering, right? So um, really, really, really simple how this how this part works. Um, we're going to start with vocals. So you're just going to pre-mix your vocals. It's really easy. Like, you know, you pre-mix your vocals so that, and you set up your recording session once. Um, and then you like, literally you, like, you set up your recording session once. And then you always have your vocals sounding professional when you record. Then what you do is like you import, it sounds so fucking crazy, simple and easy, but it really is this easy. You import your premixed vocals into your premixed beat and then you just add some final touches and you're done. And your song is mixed in less than 90 minutes. Like I'm laughing because it's dumb how like, like you can literally do this. Like, like you can do this. Like I know you can do it. I've done it. Like when I started this shit guys, like I literally did not have any musical background. I did not know how to do anything. Like I didn't play an instrument either, like nothing. And I learned all this stuff and it took me a long ass time because I relied on fucking YouTube. Like if you, like you're on YouTube right this second, like, and I get it, you're probably looking for some free tutorials, but like guys, truth is it took me like five years to get really, 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 really good at all this stuff. It will literally like, 
again, if you book a call with me below, it'll take you 90 days. Like it'll literally take you three months. Um, if you just book a call, set up a call with me or my team, it's probably going to be me talking to you and like literally will get you started and guarantee your results in like three months. You'll be fully producing your own music and you'll like, you'll literally go from this guy, route A, wasting thousands of dollars on music production, not knowing how to market his stuff to be in the top 1% where you actually know how to produce your own music and you actually like are self-sufficient, right? Anyways, then going in the last part of it is mastering. It's like all you have to do is take your, take your mix, import your final mix. You set up your mastering preset once, which I show you how to do. And then your song's mastered in 10 to 15 minutes. Like you can like, it's insane how easy this stuff is. Um, but I get it. Like the reason you don't think it's easy is because everybody thinks everybody makes it seem so hard and complicated. Um, beat makers and producers, like I have friends who are beat makers and producers. So it's like, not like I'm knocking all of them, but the truth is they don't want you knowing this. And like, you, you want to know something kind of funny. They don't even know how to do all this. Hang on. Like they don't know how to do all of this. Like there's a lot of producers. Like it's funny. Like there's a lot of producers on beat stars who like, they don't know this stuff. Like they don't know how to fully mix master. Like a lot of producers don't. Um, a lot of them like aren't that good at arranging. It's kind of weird. Like you'd think, oh, if you make beats, you must mix and master. But like, no, like a lot of them don't know. So that's kind of the reason that like, they don't want you knowing this stuff because a lot of them don't know it. And the other thing is like, they don't want you knowing how easy it is to like, you saw how I made that beat. Like I dragged and dropped it got drums from professional producers like they don't want you knowing this stuff because then they won't get your money then they're out of a job like it's it's pretty like obvious <clears throat> so like i get it like i get why you don't think this is possible and i totally understand but that's not an excuse for you not to make moves so best thing click below and book a call and like let's get started like it'll literally take you three months it's 90 days and um i even offer a guarantee this is literally what you get in three months You'll have at least one song fully produced, mixed, mastered, and engineered by you that you're excited to release. So like at least one song that you're excited to release. Right? And then the other thing is you'll have all the skills and tools you need to never need to buy beats, pay for mixing, mastering, or rely on a producer again. So literally all the skills and tools. Um, never rely on a producer again. Like that's literally what you get. And... The, what happens is if at the end of three months, if at the end of three months, both of those things are not fulfilled, then I keep working with you and for free. So I keep working with you for free until they are like, but guys, like literally, like again, I'm just gonna show you like Carlos, less than two weeks, like was able to make a beat, three three beats in two weeks and like literally like made this beat, he's ready to write to it. Here's what Angela I feel like say. I was kind of in a bit of a lost phase where I was trying to figure out like what to do next with my music. Now I'm doing it though in like uh, less than a month. In June, I ended up closing seven clients. Yeah, like she went from literally like not feeling professional at all and then closed seven production clients when she joined my production sales accelerator, she closed seven clients in the first month. It's insane. Now Ange works for me. <laughs> now she's on my team because she's such a fucking killer. I was like, I need you on my team. Now, So she went, she literally went from paying me for coaching and mentorship to doing such a great job that now I pay her. <laughs> like, wow. It, it literally, it just makes me so fucking happy to say that. At this point, you have two choices right now. Like you literally have two choices you can do. Number one, you can keep being in this right here. You can keep being in the top, you know, in the bottom 99% of artists that is wasting, and I already said this before, but wasting hundreds and thousands of dollars on music production and still not knowing how to market their music, which we look here, this is, you can go this way. You can literally be, you know, doing this, being insane and keep trying and failing. Or you can go over here and be like, you know what? I'm actually going to be this. Like I'm going to join this path and I'm going to actually be one of the 1% artists that produces their own music and moves faster in their career. Um, so like I said, book a call, bring your payment info, credit card, debit card, PayPal, doesn't matter. Bring some payment info and be ready to get started. All right. Um, I'm not going to 
not going to waste my time, not going to waste your time. So just book that call below, all right? And if you already booked a call with me, that's super sick and you're just watching this extra, like super excited to work with you, super excited to chat with you, all right? So thanks a lot for watching and I'm looking forward to talking to you guys soon.